So the mouth of the dragon, or the serpent, the form it takes in the world, notice specifically is the, is the, 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 uh, the term is given, he is the accuser. He accuses, he gossips, he slanders. See, slander and gossip is no less demonic than demonic possession. From the Greek word diabolos, we get the word devil. Diabolos, devil, devil. We also get the word diabolical. But you know what it comes from? Diabolos doesn't mean necessarily evil. Or that. What it means is to throw across, to throw through. It means one who's throwing an accusation is what it's referring to. That's diabolical. Those who practice gossip, bitterness, it's a kind of demonic possession. I'm not saying it's like, it's like the exorcist, but it is a kind of possession because you're being used by the enemy to disseminate words. Why gossip? The enemy can plant evil in a heart. Gossip plants the seed of evil. Those who receive it are receiving the seed of evil. An evil thought goes in, and then if they give it, they give it voice, it, become, it disseminates more. It's the toxic word. And they pass it on like a virus. It's interesting that the Lord said the, the mouth reveals the heart. The gossip exposes not so much about the person who's being spoken of, but the person who's speaking. Evil comes, whatever comes, whatever in your heart, that's what comes out. The toxic word. So it is like a seed, a word of death, and so it's kind of a spiritual equivalent to germ warfare. The enemy seeks to inject this through words into your mind and heart and, and defile you. Behind all gossip is the serpent in Eden. He's the first gossiper, by the way. He gossiped about God. See how he's the first gossip in the Bible. See how strongly the Bible speaks against that. It says, reject a device of man. It says, those who cause factions or divisions in the body are like idolaters or sorcerers. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's satanic. It's linked to this word. You know the word, you know, we said diabolos, that's Greek. In Hebrew, it's satan. That's where you get Satan from. It means the, acute, the one who's opposing you, accusing you like in court, your, your opponent in court who's speaking against you. If we partake in it, we're becoming instruments of hell. Not only must a child of God have nothing to do with gossip, with speaking it, but not hearing it. If somebody brings you a word of gossip, though it seems to be about another person, know that it's death to you. It will defile your thoughts. It's like gangrene. It's the words of death that tears the next person. It works against your purity, against your love, against your, your righteousness, against your humility. It's designed by Satan to cripple you. The Bible gives a, a guideline of what should come out of your mouth. The Bible says only what should come out of your mouth is that which builds up, that which is needed according to the moment and with God's grace. So you know, it's going to ask, the, the test of whether something should come out of your mouth is, number one, is it true? That's not enough. Is it good? Is it of love and of life? And is it needed, basically, to bring life? If it doesn't pass these three, it shouldn't come out of your mouth. Now note how toxic words are like, like gossip are like diseases, germs. The people spread it to the next person. If you receive gossip, it's like receiving a virus. It's toxic. Even if you don't spread it, it's inside of you. Poisons your mind, poisons your heart. You don't want to receive it for your own sake as well as the other person. Its ultimate purpose is to bring death. You know, there was a, a in the early days, of very early days of Beth Israel, there was a pastor who... Had, there was somebody who was at Beth Israel who had been in his congregation, attended, and this pastor was so bitter and bitter and bitter, and all he did was speak against that person, against the new congregation of Beth Israel, and against me. I barely knew the guy. And everywhere I went where he was there, he was just, but he was so bitter, and it was destro literally destroying him. You could see him was like withering away. Pray the, uh, the good end of that is, we ended up bringing reconciliation, and that's all blessed. But he was withering away. All who speak words of death, it touches them. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.